Well, your sight glass is broke. Today, we'll show you how to change that on the boiling point. Well, we've got our gauge glass cut, and now we're going to actually go put this on. And I've got our shop foreman, Jerry Hunley, with us today. He's actually going to go through the process. This boiler is actually not firing. Um, it's not, not hooked in or anything, but we are going to go through our gauge glass disassembly as well as our assembly. So, right. Jerry, why don't you start with, um, you know, where we go from here. Okay. If the boiler was full of water, there'd, there'd be water up in the gauge glass. So, you'd want to valve the, valve the water column off, seat both of these valves forward. You wouldn't want to do this with pressure on the boiler, steam pressure. Then you would open this drain valve on the bottom to drain the water out. <laughs> and that's basically taking the water out of the gauge right. Right, it'd drain out there. on okay. the, the ground. Remove the protective rods here. Protective rods. I'm gonna crack these nuts loose. Okay, now you do take those all the way off right away? You, you can. Okay. After you crack them loose and then spin them off. The way this valve's made, there's a seat in the bottom of it, so the, the glass has to go to the top. So okay. you're gonna maybe tight on an on a old valve or old glass, you're going to slide it up till it clears the bottom and work it out. Okay. On a new glass that we'd be putting back in, we'll, we would use new washers and there's brass, brass washers that go in there to protect this rubber grommet when it's, when you tighten the nut down. Okay. So, All right. So we've got our glass, so measuring it to actually mm -hmm. cut a piece of glass. Um, how do we actually get our measurement here? Okay. On this particular valve, can I get you to hold that? Sure. On this particular valve, the stop's a half inch down in there. We'll measure from face to face and add that half inch. So it's 11 inches. I'm gonna add that half. I cut the glass 11 and a half cut it is what I would cut it. Okay. And then, can I get that back? Oh. With a new piece of glass, you'd have the glass, your new washers. Make sure you get them in the right order. The nut goes on the brass washer. Is that just another uh, seat for the, for the, to, uh, to keep the nut from the nut. getting into the, it's pushing up square and to keep okay. that nut from cutting into the okay. washer. Yep. You'll slide that rubber on, slide it down a little bit. Okay. You do the same thing on the other end. With this being new, we'll put it back in. You want to slide in the top first. You slide okay. it up and then drop it back down to where it's resting on the seat. Okay. You'll work the rubber washer up on there, get your nut started. You'll start both of these and snug them up by hand. Okay. This particular glass has a red line in the back of it, so you'd want that facing to the back. Okay. And then, so once you uh, get those snug with your hand, so you pulling out your crescent wrench and you're uh, are you tightening them down tight or what? Just what? a little over snug. Okay. You don't want to go too tight to, so you don't break the glass. Okay. The right way. You can kind of feel when you're getting there, you know they're tight. So we're not torquing it down, no. right? No. <laughs> so. After you're in and you're good, uh, Put the rods back in to protect the glass. And tighten the drain valve. And then at this point, you could crack these valves back open. That would let water flow back to the glass. You want to backseat these. That's it. Jerry, let's talk a little bit about uh, gauge glass. So, you know, a little tidbit of information that I've learned doing this is that the longer the gauge glass, right. um, 
I guess it changes for max temp and max pressure. I mean, what, what, right. what happens? You want to make sure that the glass that you're using is rated for the, the particular boiler that you're working with. So sure. uh, this particular glass, you have to go to a chart and uh, look to see what your length is, your diameter and your length, and it'll reference temperature and pressure. Okay. And depending on the length, the longer it is, the less pressure that it's rated for. Okay, well, that's great information to know. And uh, you can call in anytime at our boilerwarehouse.com and we've got a lot of inside specialists that can actually help you with the sizing of the gauge glass. Jerry, thanks a lot no for uh, Thank doing you. that for us and uh, we'll see you next time on The Boiling Point. We appreciate Jerry stopping by and showing us how to change the sight glass and how easy that is. Make sure you like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. If you like these videos, make sure you like it and share it with somebody. Subscribe to that YouTube channel as well. We'll see you next time on The Boiling Point.